bump up everybody. And pictures of them look like the other people. The other spotter told me little spread or everybody. And it, it basically told the essence of, it took out the essence of that child in that moment. And it, 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 for me, my picture was playing basketball. And I'm barefoot, and flat, and dirty. I, I remember this. I remember playing basketball. I don't remember this was a kid. And I think that's how, uh, I think that's, as I think about it, he, he was never, um, he, I only thought that he had abandoned him. He was not there. But I think in his heart, he was always, he was always with us. And we could, there was, he was, he was always with us. I'm, uh, I'm his seventh son, and I, I had the pleasure of taking care of him for the last seven years. And it wasn't always easy, but, you know, my father had a, a, a good heart. He knew it wasn't always easy on me. You're expecting yourself when you grow old. It's, it's uh, difficult. And he, he knew that. He, he always tried to do his best to um, Helped me out, and I did my best to help him out. Uh, his uh, his favorite foods were uh, spam, <laughs> butter, uh, cheese, and bologna. <laughs> and it was, uh, you know, uh, that's what you call not uh, the best of foods. <laughs> and uh, I tried to, you know, put something better on his table, and I guess the better thing was a uh, uh, Big Mac. Or something. <laughs> But anyway, because I had salad, at least. Anyway, uh, so, you know, it's made a, maybe it led to a uh, bit of a downfall. But he was, he had actually uh, would uh, uh, struggle to get up out of bed himself because he wanted to be independent. And that was uh, how, and for seven years, that's how he would do things. He would get up on his own, even though it was difficult. You could hear him every morning. Not always make up the first time, not always make up the second time. But he would make it up, and he'd always say, I did it! I did it! And he did it! For seven years. And I was proud of the time he did, you know. Uh, I too, like my brother, had made up a uh, building with the CHA about 20 years ago. And, uh, and that I too held their feet, and we would measure up CHA, CHA. Not CHA building, but CHA one of them. They were one of the buildings that were going to be uh, rebuilt by CHA, and so we were measuring them up. Anyway, in one of these buildings, it was uh, uh, very one they owned. It actually shocked me how badly uh, my down these places were, were because uh, they once were very beautifully done places. And, uh, and we're measuring up these buildings, and all of a sudden we hear a uh, bunch of uh, gang members, basically, about five or six of them, because this was their place to be, you know. And they're coming up into the room, and they're not, you know, nice in what they're seeing. Who are we in their place? And uh, Dad, you know, he says, who, who are you? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> and it started, you know, and he's uh, probably the kids who are probably going to take out a knife and take someone, <laughs> and, uh, you know, as uh, quick as they could. All right, come on. Let's start with this. Let's go out. And he starts to uh, go after them. I don't know. This is not cool. But he went after him and they ran. <laughs> you know? And I was uh, so grateful for that. Because I didn't want to run after him. You know? but, uh, um, and another thing about my father that I remember is, uh, well, what he's always told me stories, maybe they're embellishments, most likely a lot of them, not all of them. But anyway, him and his father during that time when he was born, which was special, that. Uh, he would get ice 
and milk driven to him by horse-drawn carriage, uh, you know, a horse-drawn wagon actually, would, would deliver the goods. So that's the time of what he grew up, and his uh, father, you know, was uh,